But of course, SummerSlam last night, guys, and uh, you know, want to go through these matches and uh, talk about that. And of course, uh, we're also going to talk about uh, Dave's new charity, Headlock and Hearts during Headlocks and Hearts during the show. So that's coming up as well. Uh, this show, you know, we haven't even mentioned this match yet, and I thought it was pretty awesome last night. Ricochet and Logan Paul, yeah, duking it out last night, crazy, and they look great. Yeah, Logan Paul, man, I'm gonna tell you what. At first, I was a little, uh, what is this guy doing? But the more I see him, I'm just like, I love it. I mean, I really do. It's crazy. He's crazy. Mm. He'll do anything. He'll too. do anything. That's what's crazy. You know. Dave, so, Dave what do you think of these guys last night? No, nah, I think it was a great way to start off the show. Yeah. And, like, their talents, I mean, combined just was made for a great match. And, like you said, like, initially when he came in, you're like, ah, oh, this guy. Right. And I'm, I'm not a follower on YouTube or whatever, but, like, the amount of work that he put into it, the athleticism, he understands the character building. Like, he gets it. He gets it. And he then, does. Yeah, and it he just made it. for a hell of a match. Like, he understands Brandon and, you know, how to control the crowd. But the athleticism and the stops that they pull out as well is like, oh, wow. Yeah, it's something. So him and Ricochet, yeah, it was just – that was a great way to start it off. The crowd was hyped and so many uh, dope spots happening on there, man. Yeah. So, the, I, I love that match. The ending was a little eh. Didn't like the brass knucks with the buddy at the end. Well, but, you but know that's what? Good. But, but that that's was... part of it. He, he, you know, it was almost a, a half to. You know what I mean? I mean, really. So – yeah, like super heel move. Yeah, super yeah. heel I, move. I liked man. it. And like you when know? I seen it, I was like, oh, yeah, that's that's some heel stuff. So. Right. Yeah, we're going to see that again. And uh, boy, you know, I hope Samantha Irvin gives him a kick in the huevos. <laughs> that's what I'm hoping happens at some point. Yeah. But, I, but I will say, by the way, in the lead up, he could have said some really nasty things and he kind of held back, which he did. Was, was probably a good thing. Yeah. You know, you don't, you don't need to totally get into that, I think. Right. Nah, he teased around it. Because yeah. I know what I would have said if it were me. What would you have said? Cut a promo. Let's well, go. I would have said something along the lines, you know, where, where he talked about her saying his name, announcing it as the winner. Mm -hmm. You know, he could have said, well, you know what? My, my, your girl's going to be saying my name on Saturday night all night long or something oh! like that. You know, and really could have taken that to another level. Yeah, He well, didn't do it. But Samantha seems too nice. So. There's kids watching. Yeah. But, but pretty good match there. 